Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. Embracing the challenge we are. So you join us today. We are still here on the dam. We're exactly where we left off. We've got our beams on the back and we're just dropping them off down there. This is the last delivery for the... I don't know what to my voice there. For the materials order. Our metal beams down to the quarry. So let's get on with it. Didn't have to wait for the time to sort itself out today, so we are, you know, exactly where we were before. Right, go to a lower gear if we can. Still getting that wobbly feeling from the uh, bleat star, but we're we're braving it. There we go. So then I need to decide after this one what we're going to do next. What's going to be the next approach? Whether it's getting consumables and going down to the drill site to uh, hungry workers, feed the workers, something like that. Because we could do that and then we could grab the curtain side trailer and do the into the river. The Fleet Star should be able to do that just fine. Just trying to tick some of these jobs off. Because we've, I've just done a lot of back and forth. And not really felt like I've progressed much. Whereas, you know, the, the, the job or the jobs that we worked through last time. We started one, we finished one, we got this one going well which is now going to finish today you know they're, they're decent sized little contracts diff back on I will be pulling uh, that trailer up there with two big cargoes on with the fleet star we'll either come back with our uh, a white western or something and pull that we'll see yeah. so that's another job done materials order there's a lot of people around here that owe you a real debt of gratitude for the work you're doing keep it up and that's five grand so that's how that's how you know that was a good job because five grand's a, a fair old wedge to be earning here in michigan and the uh, 730 XP. So where are we level-wise? We're at level 10, so I think we've... Uh, we must have leveled up last job, and I didn't realise. Level 10, slowly creeping through. Right, so let's just turn the engine off while I have a little look. So we've got fuel order, which is the cargo containers going over there, which obviously we are not doing. We are not geared up for that. This is logs. This pipe dream... Ice and steel. So threatening accident we've got here, which is the crates that are scattered about. We've got one here, one here, one here, and another one out there. So really, that's a job for the uh, white western style with the four uh, four beds uh, or the four slot. Um, sideboard trailer. We had... What was it? More... Across the river. Tools delivery. Which is to bring this... Curtain cider... To here. So, to be fair, what we could do... I think hungry workers... As we do there, we can get the hungry workers, which is down to here. So I've done a lot of talking and showing, but I'll bring that, that there. And then we can do it across the river, which is then to take our trailer to here. We could then travel the rest, the rest of the way across, get the tools delivery, and either risk trying to pull it across here or come around with it. So I think that's what we're going to go with. That's going to be the plan of action. So, hungry workers, 
and that is just two consumables so we can get that in the fleet star nice and easy no sweat um risk that no probably not <laughs> let's not let's smack that that rock face instead dodgy camera coming up I say I don't know what that is. I mean I know what causes it, but I don't know what it is that makes it feel for me anyway, it makes it feel so nauseating. I think it's the uh, the involuntary movement of it, like it's not something I'm in control of and it just sort of catches me off guard. But as someone that does suffer from quite horrific motion sickness at times, that just doing it. Horrible, horrible. Grown ass man that still suffers from motion sickness. It's embarrassing. Do need some fuel. Hopefully, oh yeah, there's plenty in the uh, the landy, weren't there? There was loads. <laughs> Up the hill. Not worrying about the quarry, I suddenly feel a lot more relaxed and capable. It's a strange feeling. We're not going to get lulled into uh, an overwhelming self self confidence or anything like that because that's when things do go wrong. So we'll take it out of the roof rack, please, and thank you. Ah, before I uh, was making these plans, do we have fuel up here? We don't have fuel up here. So we may only get a certain way round and then have to have to refuel, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. And that's why trying to cut back across the river might be better for us than say trying to drive all the way around. Just because of the fuel issue. Fuel issue, not skill issue. Now I may try something a little bit risky on this first job. I've ne it's one of those things, like I, I know I've never had an issue doing it normally, but I know there is great risk to it. Scrimping and saving on a little bit of fuel. <clears throat> Excuse me.
my train flickering. Now, as of time of recording this, we were talking about that on stream uh, a couple of nights ago, actually. We was debating on the memory of the terrain and how long things stay churned up for. And I was saying, like, on console, I know that every time you turn the game off or every time that you exit the map, come back again, the terrain resets. But I've noticed that I get that flickering between states. So sometimes it's showing it's, what it's trying to do is show my churned up terrain and um, my uh, reset terrain at the same time. That's why it flickers like that. So something's saving it after the fact and trying to bring it through. I'd love, I don't know what I'm doing in here. I'd love to know what anyone else is finding with regards to that. Is it just the consoles where it always resets? Does PC reset every time as well? Um, I googled it and it said it reset. But, like I say, I have the visuals come through that, sh that show... Keep doing that, that show... Uh, my churned up state as well as a reset state. Oh, we'll see if they'll pack. There we go, that's fine. That is some nasty undulations. Sometimes it's that simple camber that's going to throw you. It really is. There's a sign we have to take it out, that's a rule. Bonus points for sign destruction. Now, what I'm considering stupidly. I've gone past it anyway. I wanted to cut down there and along the front. Let me have a look. Can I get through there? I should be able to get through there anyway. Yeah, we'll take that. Call me daft. Call me a risk taker. to do it further up because I know this bit is a little bit nasty here. It's just the angles are where it's going to twist your truck. And we get stuck on one of them <laughs> annoying indestructible branches. Cat, 
camber just looks awful. I think we should be alright. Because I've done this so many times. And again, because it's hard mode, it'll go wrong. I don't know why I'm struggling to get any sort of momentum at the minute. There. See, it wants. Just straighten yourself up a little bit. Come on. Stiffen up, little soldier. Yep, never had this issue before. Never had this issue before. No, you absolute swine. Absolute swine. It's never done that to me before. Never. Always go down that route. Right, yo. That was silly. That was silly, I guess. Yeah. Never had that. Oh well, right. See if we can get something over to uh, huff it back over, <laughs> and the truck that we're going to use to have to get it back is going to go the right way. All you needed to get to there. That was it. Never mind. Right. Now the Pacific is not going to get through there very well, but that's the only vehicle that I've got about, and that's got more than enough power to straighten it up. Yeah, sometimes I just hoss right down there, but again, the the fleet style has felt super unstable the last couple of episodes now. And I know it's not changed, it's just it's just I think it's more me driving it less confidently, whereas normally I just you know bomb around and sweat. I've taken that route with the Fleet Star, I've done it with a, a Pay Star, I've done it with the White Western Star. Oh, well, that's not good. Just get a flat tyre. Just get a blowout. <laughs> oh, I did say I was going to take a riskier route, and that was it. Let's be way in now. So I'm going to have to try and go around, because I don't think the uh, P-16 is going to fit through there, so it's going to have to go through the trees, <laughs> or, across, or across that ridge, to come around to pull the uh, Fleet Star back up. I was looking at a uh, 
comparison video the other day of Mud Runner and Snow Runner, and the uh, like the big difference between like frame flexibility between the two games and how much more flexibility there was in twisting of the frames in Mud Runner to Snow Runner. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Yeah, that's the route I'd normally go down, that way. That was what I wanted. But I mean, it's still been in the same spot, so... I mean, it's not like that's the reason why I rolled. I rolled because we came unstable. Got to check what our fuel was like. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear. This is all going wrong. The panic. The panic of it. You never know, actually. The, the Land Rover may have been able to correct it us as well. I doubt it, but we could have parked it behind a tree and got it there. Operation mess about again. <laughs> uh. To be fair, I bet the landing would be perfect for just pulling that trailer across <laughs> the river bit as well. I'd have no trouble uh, getting over the rocks. I'm not, not sure how much fuel I've got, and I'm not going to waste all my daylight and have to do everything in the dark again. That annoys me so much. I think that annoys me more than anything. Always having to do everything at night and in the dark. Yeah, I think since starting this series, what, 20 episodes ago, 21 episodes ago? Prior to that, I don't think I've ever played so much of this game, this game at night in the dark. Just, just always just sort of skip through, enjoy the daylight, where it makes more sense. somewhere in it. I 
I'll have to see if I can get around because I just don't think this is going to want to go through there. It might, it might. Let's, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if it'll fit. Not without taking damage. Come on. Absolute nightmare to turn into. Oh dear. Gotta recover me, um oh, mate. Mate. What are you doing man? You know that's not gonna work. Can we find all wheel drive for this? No, <laughs> come on! Do me like this, don't do me like this. Bloody rock, man. And again, straight into it. Oh, come on. Absolute joke. No, I'm not going to get this out. Damn rocks, man. <laughs> they're, they're, they're deliberately for this purpose, aren't they? No, you don't. Right, I have to go get the... Uh... Oh, it's, uh, go get the Land Rover and refill its fuel so I can refuel this. Operation balls up at its best. Where is the truck? Long is the winch, not very.
Oh, it's going to be... Mate, with handbrakes on, we're in reverse. Seriously. Seriously! Well, I can't get myself out. I'm not going to do anything, am I? I'm just going to roll it next to it, aren't I? That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. It's... What made me think we had all-wheel drive on this? I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm obsessed with uh, trying to maneuver the Pacific into a specific position that's not going to really help me anyway. Especially if it's not going to. There's a tree right next to me. Why does it say hey, there's no visible winch points? Oh dear. The game's given me a proper FU in it. It's not attaching my winch. Gonna have the bit I want now, please. Go. Come on, roll over. What a joke. What an absolute joke. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Second step out of the way. <laughs> uh, right. I just tip up. Tip. Tip. Damn it. Tip. <laughs> <laughs> tip. 
if I wanted to slide it, I wouldn't be able to. It would be rolling over. There we go. Right. Stay rolled. Where's my car? Where's my cargo? I think that's gonna that's gonna have to be left behind. I think that's just gonna have to be left behind. Um, get some lights on. Which where are wheels facing? Registered to Macargo. Of course, it's not registered to Macargo. Why, why would it? Why would it? Right. Let's pop that in, please. It's like fishing. We're, we're fishing for consumables. Oh, they're going to enjoy this. This is their dinner. I can enjoy this. get a little bit further. Sticking with the plan, by the way. <laughs> Stick with the death plan. It running away again. Come on, Don't do that to me. Why, why are my wheels not honestly? What is going on? <laughs> oh, dear. bouncing about it's going to roll us you absolute penis <laughs> oh dear <laughs> it's the bouncer that's doing it it's the bouncer that's doing it but it wouldn't move it wouldn't move 
Oh. <laughs> right. This is I know we need fuel now. So let's go get some fuel, shall we? Shall we go get some fuel for this disaster? Let's feed it some more. <laughs> Oh dear, guys. Never in my life. Never. This is insane. Let's see if I can find my quickest way through there. Deep breath. Deep breath, don't cry. <laughs> Let's just drive into trees instead. Just gonna get angry at it now. I tell you, this is this is this relaxing as is frustrating. Again, because I have to do everything in the dark. I don't see anything that I'm doing. Let's do a hard mode series, it'll be fun, people enjoy it. <laughs> oh dear, I hope the three of you that watch this have enjoyed it. The sun will be up before I get this food delivered, that's for certain. Stonks, baby. It says all-wheel drive is always on. Them rear wheels are not giving us any joy. Oh, I've just got a handbrake on. There you go, my fault. <laughs> I was going to say, them rear wheels aren't giving me any joy. Handbrake, sir. Skill issues. It's just the frustration that's getting to me now. That's what it is. The annoyance of the truck rolls. We were in low gear to try and have a smooth pull away with the fleet start. And because this, this way, you, if you I try and demonstrate here, but when when you're in automatic and you want to go reverse, there's, there's that like delay and you get that little jolt, whereas it's not quite so visible with this, but you get a smoother pull away, see, in, lo in the lower gears you get a much smoother pull away. And then auto, you see, have that that weight and that jolt as it finds the gear. So by being in the low gear, you know, the, the fleet star shouldn't have had that bouncing to pull away. You should have just slowly tried to find its traction. The diff lock was on, all wheel drive was on. We were in low gear. It shouldn't have gone down like it did. It shouldn't have gone down like that. <laughs> Quite literally, should not come down like that. <laughs> oh, now I'm just not paying attention.
exactly right. This this game allowed rollbacks. We'd have one for this episode. <laughs> Because if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up needing two full truck recoveries. 16 grand. I've only got 20. That's the route I was supposed to come through with the Pacific. Would have avoided having to fight with that bloody rock for five minutes. So just drive into another tree. So we do a low gear from it. This is such a simple delivery as well, this bloody food thing. I told you I was taking a risk. I've done it so many times without any worry. Tossed down there in high gear before. Or in high range gear. I put this because I want to pump fuel off it. It's time three o'clock. I'm going to get shafted by the turn and circle. I'm going to have to land you out of the way. Something that would uh, keep its lights on.
Can we can we can we st stop? When I fucking put the brakes on, can we stop? Please. Ah, oh, dear. What has happened? Honestly, what has happened? No space to work with. Oh, it's just all going... All going to... I'm not even <laughs> remotely on my track. Turn and circle is killing me. Alright. Get in that space. Get in that fucking space. Excuse my French, I'm bad enough. Right. Oh, this. Just won't turn for me. Sorry, the horn is on the uh, is on the steering. Oh, sun's coming up at least, so there's that. Oh, again, I'm not gonna have no traction for reversing. Everything's just out of reach all the time. <laughs> I wish that tree had just died. I've driven over it enough times. We're going to have to do all this messing about trying to get into an angle again. Just so I can try and upright it. I am getting like don't don't give me the winch point if you're not gonna let me attach my winch. Can we say that's fair? Is that too much to ask? There's a winch point that you can't have. All right. You know, if we had some of that frame flex, like I was talking about, that we had in Mud Runner, some of these areas would be a lot easier to get your traction on. Right, what's the time? Six o'clock. <laughs> Six o'clock. Oh, there. pick them up like that, do we now? No, sir.
probably don't want to do it like this either, but... <laughs> At least I got the vehicles to try and wipe myself. See if we can be naughty with it. There we go. Right. Stalk prey. <laughs> got an hour. Get yeah, up there, we got an hour. Oh, there, right. Let's keep a low gear. There we go. That's, that's all we needed to do. That was it. That was it. That was all I wanted to do. Try and get up here without rolling. I'm so just frustrated and doing anything and everything now. There we are. Right. This should have been a five minute delivery, by the way. A five minute delivery. We had more than enough time today. I'm going to get that horrible camera again. We had more than enough time today to do this delivery, get across the river, and back again more than enough time but as it stands no I'm going to get this so a little bit I can nip through these trees try and be a bit quicker Now this is a little bit like the drill site in Black River, it can be as boggy as hell. So just be careful. Because there's no, no winch points, despite there's all those things around, no winch points. Not even that lamppost. So you have to be careful. See this? Job done! <laughs> Two and a half grand, <laughs> 140 XP. Oh dear. How are we? It is eight o'clock. Wow, what a day. What a day. Oh my god. Oh, it's enough to make a grown man cry. Like I said, I have been down that riverbed back and forth multiple times with different trucks and have never rolled it once. Rolled it twice. I've still got to get the uh, the P16 out of there yet, which is going to be a nightmare. Oh, well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Wow. Wow. Stress levels. Stress levels. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you want to see more action like that, come check us live on Twitch, because that's when we piss about. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen here. Check us out live on Twitch. Mr. Farquhar slash dot Twitch dot TV and all that jazz, whatever it is. And, um, yeah. You have a good day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.